Hey there. Uh, today I wanted to show you an alternative method um, to solving long division problems um, that kind of eliminates some of the confusion and struggle um, that comes into bringing numbers down and placing them in the right uh, spots down below. Um, so if I have this problem 8,925 divided by 6, um, the way that I'm going to set it up is not using the traditional uh, division box, but instead I'm going to draw a rectangle. And inside of this rectangle I want a space for each one of my digits in the problem. So since I have four digits in my problem, I want four separate boxes inside of this rectangle. Now on the outside I'm going to keep the number that I'm dividing by, uh, which in this case is the six. And then for each one of these digits, I'm going to place them in the top right-hand corner of each box, and there's a reason for that placement, which we'll see as we start working them out. Um, but I don't want to put it right in the middle, um, so it takes up a bunch of space. I want to have room to be able to solve problem uh, work underneath each number. So here I have the problem set up, and now I'm going to just continue dividing like I would normally. I start with the first box, and I say that 6 can divide 8 one time. 1 times 6 is 6, and when I subtract, I end up with 2 left over. Now here's where the difference comes. Rather than bringing numbers down to meet that difference, all we need to do is just take that any difference that we have in this box, and we're going to move it right next door. And now I can continue with my division problem. 6 goes into 29 4 times. 6 times 4 is 24, and when I subtract, I have 5 left over. Continuing on, I'm going to take that 5 and again move it right next door. 6 goes into 52 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48, and when I subtract, I end up with 4 left over. I take that 4 and once again move it right next door into the box and do one more division problem. 6 goes into 45 7 times. 7 times 6 is 42 and when I subtract there's 3 left over. Now at this point if I do not have any more boxes to continue anything that I have remaining becomes my remainder and in this case my answer is 1,400 87, remainder 3. A um, couple other pros to this method is that if you forget to put a number in the boxes up top, it's very easy to see uh, what we multiplied 6 by to get that answer up there. Um, so if there's ever a point where we forget to put a number up, we don't have to try and scramble to find where that work came later in the problem. Try a couple more. All right, so if I had the problem 15,723 divided by 4, again, what I'm going to do is my rectangle needs to include a box for each digit that I have in my uh, dividend. So, in this case, I need five boxes. My divisor is always going to go on the outside, and each one of these digits is going to go in the top right-hand corner. And now I can continue dividing. I say that four goes into one actually zero times. Um, this is actually a really good strategy, especially if you are working with decimal division. Just placing a number, a quotient in each spot can make sure that I have all my digits in the right spot um, collectively at the end. Four times zero is zero, and when I subtract, there's nothing, or there's one left over. So I take that one and I just move it next door. And now four goes into 15 three times. Three times four is 12. And when I subtract, there's three left over. Bring that next door. Four goes into 37, nine times. Nine times four is 36. 
and when I subtract, there's one left over. Four times, or four goes into 12, three times again. Three times four is 12. And when I subtract, there is nothing left over. And now I come to this last problem of four going into three. Uh, a lot of uh, students sometimes want to bring that three up and just say it's my remainder, but we have to make sure that we include uh, the division part. So four divides three zero times. And that zero is important in my answer. Zero times four is zero, and there's still three left over. But if I uh, just bring that three up as a remainder and I forget my zero, then I don't have the correct answer. So in this case, my answer is 3,930, remainder three. And we'll do one more example. Nine thousand seven hundred fifty-two divided by eight. Again, what I'm going to do is set up my box. I have one, two, three, four, five digits that I need to include, so I need five boxes in my problem. The eight that I'm dividing by comes out here, and then each digit goes in the top right-hand corner, just like that. And now I can start dividing. 8 divides 8 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. And when I subtract, I have 0 left over. 8 divides 9 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. And when I subtract, I again have 1 left over. 8 divides 17 two times. 2 times 8 is 16, and when I subtract, there's one left over. 8 goes into 15 one time. 1 times 8 is 8, and when I subtract, there is 7 left over. And finally, 8 goes into 72 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72, and since I have nothing left over, I have no remainder. And my answer is 11,219.